How's it going guys? Today we're going to talk about the three different ways to hold the neck of the ukulele. Holding the neck properly is incredibly important because it will affect how well you play. It'll also keep your hand from hurting too much while you're playing and will help you to keep the ukulele secure while you play so that it doesn't wobble all over the place. The first way to hold the neck, which is my personal favorite and it's the way that I always default back to when I can, is by holding your hand first like this and then putting the neck um, directly into the crook of your hand. And then my fingers bend over and play chords like this. So you'll notice that my palm is not touching the back of the neck. I'm just um, holding on to the uke with the crook of my hand here. Now, if you're holding the neck like this, you'll notice that when I'm playing chords, my fingers are almost horizontal, not quite, but they're almost horizontal. Um, often I think we assume that our fingers should be vertical when playing chords, but um, not really. Like this chord, the G chord, is really hard to play with vertical fingers. So holding it like this actually allows you to have your fingers be almost horizontal, which makes it much easier to play certain chords. Now, the advantages of holding the ukulele this way is that it keeps the ukulele really, really secure. You have a really nice grasp. You're kind of holding on to it, um, and then your fingers are also free. It's also fairly easy to switch between um, chords, especially some of the, the most common chords like a C chord, a G chord, um, A minor, F. You could do all those really, really easy while holding the ukulele this way. However, one of the disadvantages of holding the neck like this is that you can't play every chord. So for example, a B flat. I have to adjust my hand in order to play B flat. Also, any other bar chord, it's pretty difficult to play uh, while holding the ukulele like this. The second way to hold the ukulele is to place your palm directly against the back of the neck like this and then curving your fingers over to play chords. I like holding the ukulele like this when my palm starts to get tired, especially if I'm playing bar chords. My palm is gonna start getting tired right here, and when I switch, it gives a lot more support to my palm. However, one of the disadvantages of playing this way is that your wrist has to bend at almost a 90 degree angle, so it's pretty hard to keep it there the entire song. It's also a little awkward to switch between chords um, when holding your wrist like this. So when I do hold the neck like this, it's usually not for the whole song, it's usually just for a few chords, and then I'll switch back to the first way. The third way to hold the neck of the ukulele is by putting your thumb against the back of the neck, and then curving your fingers over to play chords. This method is great if you're playing bar chords, uh, so something like B flat. However, it's not very secure if you're playing chords that aren't bar chords. So if I just play a C or a G, it's pretty hard to keep the ukulele secure. It kind of wants to fall out and it's putting a lot of pressure on my fingers. So I usually only use this method for bar chords or chords like E where I have three fingers pressing against the fretboard which help keep it secure. Those are the three different ways to hold the neck of the ukulele. And I'm interested in knowing which one do you like best, which one feels most comfortable for you. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. I hope this video was helpful for you today. If it was, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification because I have a lot more videos like this, skill videos as well as song tutorials. And you can check those out in the suggested video that comes up or on my channel.